In this video, we will learn about JavaScript object methods. JavaScript method is an object property that contains a function definition. Let's create one object with the const keyword. Here we will add the object name person. And in this object, we will add two properties, first name and last name. Let me create one more property here and I will add the property name greet. You can call it property name or key. In this greet property, we will declare one function. To declare a function, we use function keyword. Then name of the function. So let me write the function name greet. And in this function, we will print one message using the console log. Hello world. So in this one, you can see we have the third property with the function definition. This is called as object methods. So this is the method of the person object. Now to call this method, we will add the object name that is person and then write the method name greet and write the parenthesis also. Now you can see the console tab, it will display the output. Hello world. So in the person object, we have created one property with the function definition that is known as method. And we are calling this method using the object name dot method name parenthesis. Here we have declared one regular function. We can add the anonymous function also. Let's remove this name. And we can write like this. Here we have used function expression to define a function and assign it to the greet property of the person object. And still it will display the same message in the console tab. Hello world. We can declare a function outside of the object and assign it to an object as a method. Here is one example. Let me remove this function from here. And here we have one object with two properties. Now we will declare one function. Function name is greet and console.log hello world. Next we will assign this function inside this person object. So here we will add person dot any key name. So we will add the key name greeting. is equal to greet. Let me add T, it will be correct. So in this line, I am assigning this greet in this person greeting. Now to display the output, we will add the person dot greeting parenthesis. Now you can see the output, it is displaying hello world. So let's understand this example again. Here we have created one object and the object name is person where we have only two properties. Now we have declared one function and assigning this greet function in this person object. The property name or key name is greeting. We are calling this method using person dot greeting parenthesis. Now if you want to display this person object, simply we will add console dot log person. Now in the console tab, you can see it will display the object. And in this object, you can see we have the first name, then this greeting property, which is the method in this greeting, we have the function definition. So this is how you can assign one function inside an object as a method. ES6 provides us one more way to declare a method for an object. Let me remove it. And in this object, we can simply add greet and curly braces and write the code. So this is one more way to declare one function inside the object as a method. We can access this method using the person dot 
greet now you can see it will display the message hello world in the console tab now we will learn about javascript this keyword to access the other properties of an object within a method of the same object we can use this keyword let's see the same example one object with the name person and we have two properties first name and last name now to access the first name we used to write object name dot the key name or first name so this is how you can access the property of an object but when we need to access the first name within the method so in this one let's create one method here we will add one method greet one anonymous function and message console.log hello now in this method if i want to display the first name so here we will add plus this dot first name so when we need to access the property of an object outside of the object we use the object name and key so we are adding person dot first name but here we are accessing the first name inside this method and this method is in this person object so this keyword refers to the same object which is person so we don't need to write the object name we can simply write this keyword dot first name so this will print hello and the first name now to call this method we will add the object name person dot greet let's see the output in the console tab it is printing hello elon let me add a space here now you can see it is printing hello elon in the console tab so we can use this keyword to access the properties of the same object within the method so when we use this keyword within a method it refers to the same object now let's define a method that returns the full name of the person object by containing its first name and last name so remove it and let's remove this method also and here we will add another method get full name one function and in this function we will add return this function will return the first name and the last name to access the property we will add this dot first name then we will add space so let's add double quote then plus this dot last name it will access the last name so in this method you can see it is returning this dot first name so it will return this value elon and here this dot last name it will return this value musk now to call this method we will add person dot get full name this method is returning some value so we can print it using console dot log let's add console dot log person dot get full name now you can see the output in the console tab it is printing elon musk so it is returning the full name by containing first name and last name let's understand this example again here we have an object with the name person where we have two properties first name and last name and one method this method returns the first name and last name of the person now we are calling this method so it will display the full name which is elon musk we can use this keyword outside of the method also but it will refer to the other object let's remove all these things and here simply add console.log this so here you can see the output it is displaying window object so if we use this keyword alone or inside a function then it will refer to the global object that is window object
or when we use this keyword in the event then it will refer to the element that receive the event this keyword is not a variable so we cannot change the value of this so this is all about javascript method and this keyword in the next video we will learn about javascript constructor function i hope this video will be helpful for you if you have any question you can ask me in the comment section please like and share this video and also subscribe my channel great stack to watch more videos like this one thank you so much for watching this video